Yo, 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 what's going on, buddy? It's Brandon, also known as Georgia Picker, and I'm here with the wifey. Huh. Yeah, so uh, she's tired. She's being a little grumpy uh, this morning, which is okay. Uh, I get it. It's being up early in the morning. I mean, it's only 8.30, though, but uh, we also got up at 4 o'clock this morning, went down to Black Friday deals, and got our ticket at 6. And, um, yeah, here we are at 8.30, roughly, and we're on our way to Black Friday deals as of right now. So, uh, yes. It is going to be a bin store video. We go here every Friday at 9 a.m. Uh, and mainly because we find all types of goodies and we have been uh, making tons of money off of uh, this bin store. And yes, I know I'm being very talented right now by driving and doing the intro at the same time without messing up. Pretty impressive. Make sure you guys subscribe, comment, like, all that good stuff. So anyways, we're going here to find items that we can flip online for a profit and uh hopefully we find some good stuff so any words for the people charlie love y'all all right she says she loves y'all so let's go ahead and uh head over to the bin store 1072 
All right, guys, so I'm going to try to do this commentary as good as I possibly can because I am actually currently sick. <laughs> um, so uh, we're at Black Friday deals. Each item is $7. Uh, the music is exceptionally loud today. Um, it used to not be like this, but they've been playing the music uh, kind of loud. So I'm forced to kind of come up with some commentary and uh, some voiceovers, uh, music overs, and that type of stuff. Um, if you guys noticed, I found that Dinovite supplements for dogs is, and then another one <laughs> right after that in the bin next to it. Um, and, uh, yeah, so now this is probably like 20 minutes later, went into this bin and sure enough, we found some Bridgerton, uh, set of book of eight. Um, and uh, I actually sold, uh, or found two of them and I actually sold both of them. Uh, another book set here. I've told you guys numerous times, do not sleep on media stuff, DVDs, books, uh, CDs, etc., etc. Do not sleep on that stuff because it can go for some great money. So now again, I decided to pick up this dog uh, medicine or something, and I was looking at it and I was like, yeah, you know what, why not just throw it in the buggy, we'll look it up later, just to make sure that we're not going to be getting varoed on it or, you know, that type of stuff. Um, this thing was actually pretty interesting, it's called Juvenescence. Um, I looked it up, um, there's not really that many of them on eBay, um, but we looked them up on uh, Google and, and uh, WorthPoint and uh, Amazon, and I decided to put it up for auction, and it actually did you know pretty well. Um, keep in mind, $7 into it, I believe it sold for like 50 bucks. but uh, again, s still looking through uh, all types of stuff, and we found the Star Wars Risk uh, board game. Uh, always look out for the uh, branded type uh, board games, because they can actually do pretty well. So, uh, yeah, so now we're just going to go ahead and get into the montage of looking everything up. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Alright guys, so we spent, the wife put the receipt away. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, thank you. So we actually, this is actually the most we ever spent here, I believe. 59 items for $441.91. Uh, just to give you guys a, a quick highlight of two of the items, well, I would, but we found two Fitbits uh, that are brand new. Um, I don't know where they are in the monstrosity of stuff, but we got 59 items. The wife found some really good items, there you go, there's one right there. And then there should be another one. Yeah, right there. So found two of them. That's the same one I got. Um, yeah. So uh, Dino Bite stuff, a Buffy Vampire DVD set. I mean, a bunch of DVD sets. Like, look at that. DVD set. DVD set. You guys saw the majority of it. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll be at the house for the recap. So we'll see you guys in just a little bit. Yo, check it out, guys. We are back at the house and the wifey is right there. Look at her. She did pretty good today. Um, so. So did you. We, we, we both did pretty good. Um. So long story short, we got there at uh, about 4.45, 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, we were normally there the night before, uh, but uh, we've been showing up about 5 o'clock or so in the morning, and we were 10th today. I mean, we got our tickets at 6 o'clock, went home, and then we showed back up at 9 o'clock. And uh, you guys, we did extremely good. Look at all this. Look at all this beautiful stuff. Like, this is... Uh, this is great. I mean, literally, you guys, look at this stuff. I mean, tons of DVD sets. You guys will see all that. Uh, my wife found this thing. Goes for good money. Cards Against Disney. Video games. There's a Nintendo Switch game that's sealed. I mean, look at this. Fitbits, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not going to spoil the whole thing for you guys, but this is amazing. We spent $441.91 right there, you guys, for 59 items. This is the most money i believe that we have ever spent here at the bin store um and it's, it's kind of crazy you guys kind of crazy so my wife is going to show you guys what exactly that we kept for ourselves which is interesting because we only found only like three things for ourselves so uh that means like 55 items or so 
are gonna be for reselling. But it's like, I don't know, I feel like we're looking less and less for ourselves. And that is true, we are. Because we... we well, I mean, you gotta think about the, the numerous weeks that we went, we already kind of got everything that we kind of wanted. Um, and that like, was just simple I, things. Yeah, yeah, like I wanted all my organization stuff. Yeah, so the wife is gonna go over the stuff that we're keeping for ourselves, which is only just a few things. Uh, but then the rest of this beautiful merchandise right here is gonna go on our eBay store. So baby, take it away. What's sound? Okay, so I got these for Brandon. They're shaker cups um, because, you know, he going back to the gym because, you know, he wanted been, to get all we, juiced. I about to say, we've been going back to the gym. Yeah, he wanted to get all juiced, so I got him some. Not steroids, you guys. I, I'm clean. I'm all natural, <laughs> okay? So when, so when she says juice, she's talking about, like, the arms looking good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but no. Be bulky. Uh, I'm already bulky. Whatever. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to get more lean is what we're going to try to do. And then, okay, so don't judge my dreams. I want a laptop eventually because I want an Apple MacBook. That's what I want. And this is a laptop stand for that. So I can put the laptop that I do have right now on this. And I can look like all those famous TikTokers they sitting there working at home. So famous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what's the third and final thing? So you found this one for me. Yeah. I didn't know what this was. It said prep it. So I was like, what does that even mean? So I looked it up and they, they should have been prep bowls, but we don't know. Uh, we didn't get them open, so we don't know if they're plastic or glass. I'm not too sure. But this would be really good for uh, meal prep. Are they glass? Meal prep bowls, yeah. Are they glass? The same ones that we have, except these are white. Oh, yeah. <laughs> these are white. Hey. Freak yeah. Seven bucks for a whole bunch of meal prep bowls? I mean. Heck yeah, and, and, like, we're set. I would legit. say, and the, and the greatest thing is that they're glass, too. So yeah. that's pretty so, cool. Uh, that's pretty dope. Rock on. Yeah, so those are literally the only three items. And that means... Yeah. Oh, sorry, four items. So she I also got, got a, a stylus pen. Yeah, I got me a stylus pen for my for my iPad that Brandon got me. Yeah, on, I went on, you guys didn't get to see this on video or anything, but I ended up getting uh, an iPad. Where's the iPad at? Huh. Yeah, we ended up getting this iPad 7th generation. No, iPad Mini 5. Whatever, iPad Mini 5 7th generation. Um, it goes for about three fifty pre owned, but this thing was brand new. Got it for five bucks. I let my wife keep it because you know I'm a good husband. Heck um, yeah, you are. <laughs> but but yes, uh, this is pretty cool. So um, I don't know what, what was the purpose of me telling him this. I, I was going off of something because I got the stylus. Oh yeah, the stylus pin. pin. That's right. <laughs> so the stylus pin <laughs> to the uh, to the iPad. So um, yeah, so pretty cool stuff. Um, you know, always hooking up the wife whenever I can. Mm -hmm. um, which means we have 55 items that we have to go through. We're gonna try to do it as quick and efficient as possible because um, this is gonna be a long, boring recap. So, um, but the reason why I do these recaps is mainly for new resellers to really see kind of like what I am personally picking up, what stuff will sell quick, what stuff will sell uh, not so quick, and what are the big ticket money, uh, money items and stuff like that if you have a bin store in your area. Maybe you might come across I don't know, this little gaming capture card. Maybe you'll come across this Monopoly Zelda game, you know, and then they might be like, oh, I watched the Georgia Picker in one of his videos. He picked up this Fitbit. Obviously, Fitbit is kind of a common thing, but oh, I remember Georgia Picker picking this up and don't it sold for like 40 bucks. All. I'm not. I'm just giving them an example. So anyways, uh, do you want to take over? Or do you want me? No, I want to do it. All right. So the wife is going to take over um, and I would just say kind of start from right to left. Aye, aye, Captain Tim. <clears throat> so I found a brand new sealed Zelda Monopoly game. Sealed, you guys. Oh, shut up. It was just, <laughs> yeah, it was so, just torn a little yeah, bit. Yeah, well, this right here will definitely devalue it a little bit. It was sealed whenever we got it, but I think whenever they were transferring over the items over to the new buggy, it kind of ripped a little bit, which is fine. Still going to sell it as brand new, but we'll have to disclose that plastic material. But it's okay. How much uh, was it going for? 60 60 Okay. Yeah. So... But yeah, we'll put a sole comp on exactly what we what we would sell it for. So very cool stuff there. Okay, and then I found so my brother-in-law actually picked up something last Saturday from Weber. And he told me to start looking out for it because it could do good. Yeah, good. And I actually looked up the sole comps and this grill cover is actually it's actually pretty good. Well, what would it go for? <laughs> I thought you were gonna stop doing that. <laughs> we are. Yeah, we're, 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 yeah. So we're, no, we're no longer gonna tell you guys what we think it's gonna go for. It's just because prices fluctuate here and there, and we might not be looking at the right model, et cetera, et cetera. But um, we actually found a Weber uh, 
uh, grill light that my brother found for five bucks and actually sold for $22 free shipping. So Weber's a really good brand as well. So yeah. that's pretty cool. We got a grill cover. And then <clears throat> Brandon found a massage gun. Yeah, Massage Ocon. guns always do good. Yeah, Ocon, um, this one actually has 100% sell-through rate at about, well, I'm not gonna tell you guys what about, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it, 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 it does pretty well. And then actually we've got three of these Dinovite nutritional supplements for dogs. Haven't we sold these before? Um, yes, for about 50 bucks a piece. Yeah, yeah. so we got three of those. Yeah, Di Dinovite is the brand name if you guys ever see this the expiration should be on the bottom this says oh wait maybe not no it's on the side on the side oh back <laughs> 11 2022 so um these will expire later in november but they will sell uh before then all right and then brandon found this made me look it up it's pure boost clean antioxidant energy mix it's a drink mix yeah, and this is the first thing, our first time buying it, and it expires in May, so we gotta get that listed as soon as possible. Yeah. Not too bad. Okay, and then Brandon found a Gam Live Pro. It's a video capture card. Yeah, it's a capture card like Elgato products. Um, essentially, it's basically the same thing, 4K, um, but it's not Elgato, so it's all, it goes for about 50, but I know I said I'm not gonna say that, but it's kind of hard not to. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we got some NBA pants. Yeah. Where they sweat? It's uh, Milwaukee. <laughs> Milwaukee Bucks. Yeah. Yeah, I got it right because you know I'm not really the sporty type. <laughs> yeah, these are large, I guess, sweatpants. Space dye gray. That's the color of it. So, we knew with tags. I figured why not for seven bucks. Don't know what it goes for. I didn't look it up. And I found some GU Rocktane Ultra Endurance Drinks Mix. Drinks and mix. Drinks mix. Drink mix. <laughs> great flavor. Yeah, it's great flavor. And it's not expired. It doesn't expire until 2023. So, who y'all? Do you know what my favorite power rate is? What? Great. Great. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> um, I didn't even know you got these. I got them because they are the Bridgerton set of eight. Bridgerton? Um, yeah. I don't remember what it goes for, but I figured, I felt like it was going to be worth it for eight of them. Isn't it Bridgerton? Bridgerton? I, I, don't, know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll show, show them real quick so I can kind of get a general idea of what it is. But yeah, it says the Viscount who loved me. The Viscount. <laughs> Viscount, Viscount. I don't, I don't know <laughs> when he was Wykeda. I don't know how. I don't mean wicked. I know that word, but I don't know. Either way. Um, I found this one. So the Southern rate. Was isn't terrible. yeah it, it wasn't great at all but like the sold comps on it you know they were they were pretty up there so i thought i might have is, it, is it open or is take it, it new? No, I mean, oh yeah taped. they just taped it yeah that's fine yeah. um the sold comps were were up there that's the reason why we got it it's just sell for 100 plus but mm. um but we got it just for seven bucks just you know as a filler item might sit on it for a little bit but that's okay and then we got a Risk game for Star Wars Clone Wars Edition. Yeah, so Risk stuff does really well with the different brands. I think this might actually be a resale. The reasoning why, if you notice that how the lip of the board or the top of this comes out, it's not really taped. So I think this actually might be a resale. It does say new item on there. Maybe I'm just tripping, but uh, I, I kind of want to open it up just to double check it. But I don't know. We'll, we'll play it by ear. Either way, you guys will see a pre-owned comp or a new comp. Oh, look at this. I found an evil cat pal. Yeah, it's pretty dope. <laughs> this is pretty dope. Uh, so Brandon told me that from now on I need to look out for Ebo. Yeah, Ebo. Because apparently brand. it is a very, very good brand. I didn't know that. <clears throat> um, but yeah, it's your cat's new best friend. Is it uh, open or is it brand new sealed? Okay, so it is open. So let's take, let's take a quick look. Um, one thing too is we don't ever really open anything up because we just don't do it because we're lazy but you know it is what it is um it's definitely been opened yeah yeah definitely been opened but uh yeah might have to sell this pre-owned that's still fine that's still fine because we will um we'll still be able to make uh some really good money on that even as uh pre-owned so keep in mind too just a little tip for you guys if you guys are doing bin stores and something is pre-owned at least look up the pre-owned instead of just throwing it away or whatever just double check that type of stuff because pre-owned virgins can't go for some money and don't be like us open your boxes yeah <laughs> get your boxes i mean in reality let's just give you guys a scenario let's say that thing right there was not worth pre-owned 
and it was worth something that was new it probably be worth getting it open but either way if it was pre-owned or new and it was still worth money you probably don't have to go over there and open it up but i don't know okay got so another scenario here we got coop home goods or co-op home goods it's a pillow that you stuff you stuff your own pillow the heck <laughs> you stuff your own pillow yeah you can make a it pillow? as fluffy or as flat as you want oh that's pretty dope it says a pillow as unique as you yeah. that's pretty cool and so comps look pretty good um they go for about 40 bucks so i was pretty happy with that okay so we're gonna go from top down top down okay so we got brandon's big finds yeah um he basically went up to the restock bins and he said they lifted the cover off of it and they were just right there so <laughs> yeah. he just grabbed them yeah so this is how it went so the the bin was covered they did the woo the other siren thing and i'm sitting there waiting they pull the sheet off and sure enough both of these one of them was like that and one of them was like this and i saw the fitbit verse i grabbed this one first and then i was like oh it's another one so i grabbed both of them but yeah, so yeah but it, they're both brand new twos. yeah they're both brand new though yeah very cool stuff very very cool um, stuff but those will sell for about 110 a piece yeah and this is charlie's fine this is a good find i found a windows 10 pro key um and so wait a minute <laughs> can you can list this on eBay without getting beer? Yes, you can. You, you can list this stuff. Yes, you're sure. Hundred percent. Yes. Okay, just one minute. Yeah. Sure. Windows 10 Pro. I want to, you know, keep the audience in the loop. So, so here's the thing. I got vero'd and I got suspended again off of a DVD set of all things. Um, and my wife is very frustrated about it because I'm frustrated about it and there's nothing I can do about it because you don't know every single Vero'd item. So that's why she's being sarcastic right now. But yes, it's so hard to learn every single Vero because, I mean, you can Google it and something might not pop up and it's not on the Vero program page and it's just one of those things. You guys saw my live stream about it. I ranted a lot about it. I'm not going to get into it um, because it's going to make me rant even more. <laughs> but yes, the Vero program is very frustrating. All right, so now we've got EFX sports cre alkaline efx it's a dietary supplement yes so i didn't see any of them any sold comps that had the 400 capsules i only saw the ones at 240 capsules and they were going for like 30 to 40 bucks hmm. for 400 capsules i don't know uh i mean we'll, we'll, we'll see we'll check on amazon see what the price is and then kind of coordinate that with ebay all right now we got a 4k ultra d camcorder is it good did you open it? No, I did not. I just feel like it was a camcorder 4K. You know, thought it'd be worth the risk. Let's see, let's see. But yeah, it's just a generic version. Mm. It's a generic one, which is fine. So, yeah. they'll, they'll tend to sell. Yeah. yeah very cool. Okay, okay. okay. A little 4K Ultra HD camcorder. So, we'll try I to find... I said that. We'll try to find something similar to that. Okay. We got that, and then I found a Wulu wireless home intercom system. Let's open that bad boy up. Yeah. Ooh. Brand spanking new. Possibly it's up one of these boxes. It'd be nice if it's new. Yeah. Very nice. Brand there you go. Spanking new. Brand spanking new. So. Like I said, I always check your boxes, you guys. We don't, um, and it's because we know the risk of it. But uh, I believe there's all, probably only, I'd probably say maybe three things in here that we probably should have opened up. But other than that, I think everything else is brand new, sealed, very simple stuff. Like we probably should have opened up probably that, that, probably this right here. So, but yeah, either way, go ahead, continue. All right, next we got a sealed Buffy the Vampire Slayer complete series. Yeah, the wifey found this. Heck yeah. Look at that. So seasons one through seven. It also includes Buffy Dark Horse comic book featuring an exclusive cover and original coloring set. That's very cool. That's pretty that's, cool. That's really cool. It does have a little bit of a little tear there, but that shouldn't be an issue. But yeah, very cool stuff. The wife found that. Like I said, the wife found some really good stuff today. All right, so... <laughs> yeah, I'm a little mad about this one, but it's okay, though. It's only $7, but it is what it is. Yeah, but the sold comp, like, this sell-through rate was 
Yeah, so I actually grabbed like two or three of these. I looked it up. There's like 18 listed and two sold. I mean, don't get me wrong. They sold for 30, 35 bucks, 40 bucks, somewhere around there. It will eventually sell, but I put them back because the sell through rate was trash to me. Um, but I kind of so snuck that one She in. snuck that one through because I don't go through her buggy anymore because she does really well by herself. Um, so it's, it's really my fault more than anything. But uh, But yeah, but it is what it is. Yeah. You know, seven bucks, it's all good. Okay, I found then this. you got a pet, pet action, cap action, what is it? Flea? Yep, flea, flea preventative. Yep, flea preventative. Um, it expires April of next year, uh, and it's for large dogs, I believe. Yep. Yep, so um, I got to double check if we're allowed to sell this. I'm pretty sure we are um, because this is not, um, you know, have to do with, like, uh, prescriptions. So should be able to sell it. We will double check all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, sell through rate is really good on that. Oh, I forgot this one was for oh, me. Oh yeah, that is I'm for, sorry. no, you're good. That is for, uh, you. Um, so I'm really into Greek mythology and these are Greek mythology books. Um, like ancient myths. Yeah, collection. I found those for you. Yeah, yeah, you did. But it's all about like Greek mythology and stuff like that. Yeah, so this, this for her. She collects books. I mean, if you guys can tell, there's books over there. She has two big bookshelves in the, in the spare bedroom or our bedroom. So yeah, say that. She, in a spare bedroom. Oh yeah, she uh she collects books. <laughs> All right, now this is one of the items we should have uh, opened up, but it's a Mesh Force whole home mesh Wi-Fi system. Let's open her up and see. All right, so we finally got it open, and it looks like it's used. Yeah, mm. I'll probably say used. Well, I mean, I don't know. We might be able to do that as open box. Well. A little dusty, but I mean, I don't see any wear on it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, it's like the plastic's still yeah, on that, plastic's but it's still like on the that. wires are. That's fine. We'll put a little rubber band around it. Um, we'll do our due diligence and figure pre-owned or open box. We'll we'll figure that out. But this should be like a hundred dollar piece right here, I believe. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Seven dollars. So we got some more bucks, but it's not for me. Um, this is for eBay. But it's Mary Pope Osborne Magic Treehouse, a library book of 1 through 28. Yeah, so this thing was sealed. It should have went for like 40, but since this seal is completely broken, all the books are there. It is technically brand new, just the wrapping is just not there. I mm -hmm. uh, might be able to get maybe 30 bucks for it instead of 40. Um, but yeah, figured I picked up one of those before. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do the DVDs? Yeah. Okay, all right, all DVD sets, so stay, stick with us. <laughs> all right, so we got BBC Monarch of the Glen. Yeah, so stuff like this, I'm going to double check if I'm able to sell it because these are like the weird ones. So like BBC, I'm not sure if you can sell BBC stuff, um, but these are the type of DVDs, or the DVD set that I got Vero'd on, this is kind of what it looked like. Something very Similar. old, you know, like this, so... Um, but we'll, we'll throw a soul comp up there and hopefully we can we can sell it. All right, next one. Okay, so we got Yellowstone and we've got the first three seasons. And that one is the limited edition gift set. Oh, yeah, sorry. So, yeah, sorry. We just want to make sure we get you guys the right comps. That way, whenever I'm editing this video, I can really see everything. So that's pretty cool. And then we've got season three. No, this, Wait, is, this is one through three. Oh, one through three? Yeah, so they, Oh, it's just not in a box. Oh, yeah, okay. this one's just a limited edition. That's just seasons one through three. Okay. So I believe this should be about 50 bucks, yeah. I believe. And then these are both just individual seasons. Very nice. So those are all the yellow and I think, stones. And I think I found all the Yellowstone stuff, right? Yes. And you found that one over there. Mm -hmm. And you, you found this one, too. Oh, this so one. I, I never heard of that one. <laughs> I didn't either. Um, but it but it's pretty cool. called The Last Ship. Um... Includes five seasons. All five seasons. All five seasons. The last ship complete. And it was on TNT. Okay. I'm surprised there's not a bar. Oh, well, I guess the barcode would be up there. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I'm, that actually looks kind of dope. That actually might be worth a little bit of money. Mm -hmm. DVD sets are just are crazy good stuff, you guys. And then we've got season one, two, and three of Stranger Things. Yeah, very nice. Yum. Stranger Things don't go for a whole bunch of money because it's Netflix exclusive, but, mm -hmm. uh, you know, this still goes for a little bit of money. All right, we got The Last Man Standing, uh, eighth season and seventh season. And we got two. Yeah, so seventh and eighth season um, for Last Man Standing. Very cool stuff. Um, and then we've got The Bob Newhart Show, the complete series. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and a bonus. Ooh, oh, very cool stuff. 
All right, and then we've got Poldark. Yeah, I believe I found this one, yeah. Yeah, it's seasons one through five. Oh, wow, season one through five, that's crazy. Yeah. So we got that one. Never heard of it, but you know. And then I love the British monarch. And so there's the crown. It's a good TV show. Y'all should watch it. Just like, hey. How many seasons is it? One through. Um, there is first season, second, third, and fourth. All right, so, so seasons one through, one through four. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah, DVD says, you guys, we racked up on those. <laughs> and then we've got Doc Martin. Series eight. Uh, we got six surly seasons, seven and eight. So see, like this DVD set, I'm probably going to do some research on because it's Acorn TV. And that's just... Something we've never I've heard. never heard of Acorn TV. I, I just, well, I'm, I, have. I haven't. I, I'm just like I said. I'm just gonna double check them just to make sure because DVD sets now kind of scare me if it's just stuff that I don't really know of. So, <laughs> I'm right. not trying to get vero anymore. Now these are the single ones. So we got Grey's Anatomy, the 16th season. Um, yeah. So we got that one, and then we got Heartland, the 13th season. And then we got Doctor Who, the 11th season. So, that was pretty dope. Yeah, Why have we never watched Doctor Who? Don't know, but very cool stuff. But yeah, that's Don't all give us crap if you have seen it. But yeah, that's all the DVD set though. No. That's, uh, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> okay, so now we've got Nintendo DS Super Mario Bros. And Brand new sealed. Yeah, you found that one. You found all these games. Yes. Yeah, you found all these. I found all of them, yeah. Um, then we got Nintendo DS Pokemon Platinum Version Sealed. Yeah, Platinum Ooh, Version. It's even got the Nintendo seal. Yeah, very cool Fancy. stuff. Fancy. Yeah, if you guys don't know about Platinum, it's a very, very expensive game. Nintendo Ooh. Switch game. Lethal League? It's on the back, too. On the sticker. Oh, yeah. Lethal League Blaze. Yeah, it's a brand new sealed Nintendo Switch game. Noise, noise. All right, and then we got a PS4 game, The Last of Us Part Two. That looks creepy. It is. It's a scary game. It doesn't really go for a whole bunch of money, but for seven bucks, we're gonna make you know a few bucks on it. Yeah. And then we've got the Blue Eyes White Dragon. These, these are Yu-Gi-Oh cards. They're right? Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yeah. Yeah. I knew it. <laughs> so they 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 look fake, but um. Why? Because they're in a different language. No, just because, I mean, fill the box. <laughs> it just feels weird. I mean, I could be wrong. That's I mean, the kind of our strategy. I mean, I did scan it, and it did scan, so I don't know. It's still cool stuff. Yeah. Okay, okay. And then we got cards against Disney. And these are pretty funny, so, yeah, I like these. But we're going to sell these on... Macari. Macari. Because you can't cause sell... Because you can get Vero'd on them. Yeah, these. I believe you can get Vero'd on them, so. Yes. Going over on Macari. All right, and then I found this one. It's a Super Mario chess set, collector's edition. And this is open. Yeah. This is open. There's a big tape mark right there. But um, worst case scenario, if pre-owned, if it's not worth it, we might be able to piece some of these pieces out. But if it is worth it, then we'll just sell it as pre-owned. But we'll double check everything. Um, I don't know what this is. What is this? This is a ninja obstacle course, almost like that, that small one that we oh, found. Um, yeah. This is a bigger version of it. Um, the small one actually sold for 20. I'm not really too sure what this one's gonna be because I actually have to open it up to see the contents inside and then you guys can kind of see what it will go for. I wanna say it's gonna be about 75 to 100. But then again, that's what I said about the other one because we didn't know the model. So not too sure on this. This is just a ninja thing, uh, obstacle course, like American Ninja Warrior or whatever, so. And this is a metabolic switch ketone ester fuel. I don't know what that is. Uh, it's basically like this keto uh, uh, chocolate nitro like powder, I guess, I'm assuming. Um, soul comps on that was really good. Okay. And then we got some K cups. Yes. They don't expire until August. And what's the name of Starbucks French Roast here? Matter of fact, open Seattle's best coffee. We'll do this right here. Open up that. I want to make sure we get the right full comp. We got Starbucks French Roast. Can you get that out? Might have to flip it upside down. <laughs> All right, so this is what they look like. So there's there's ten of them. So there's sixty of them in total, and it's the French Roast Intense and Smoky Dark Roast. So. We'll make sure to give you guys soul comp on that. Every single one I've ever picked up have sold exception of one. And they sell pretty good. Yes. This is Charlie's good find. 
So I found an Anchor UFI security one-stop home security solution. You want to open it up? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to open it up. All right, here we go. Look at that. Looks nice and presentable. Good size. Oh, yeah. Ooh, look at that. That looks that pretty brand new to me. I mean, we'll double check it again, but that is uh that's, that's the beautiful thing about this type of stuff man it's it's, it's crazy seriously because it's like black fridays is so good about you know having like brand new stuff it's just some of the customers open it up dump all the contents out yeah <laughs> and stuff like that so it's like yeah yeah it's one of those things where like if you look at it you figure even if you're like 10th or 15th in line right and there's so many bins one person cannot cover that much ground so it's like the reasoning why we go here so much is because even if we're 20th 30th nobody's gonna be able to hit every single bin they might get to like some of the good stuff first maybe and that's a big maybe because we have been first before we didn't find anything crazy um and uh and that's why we go here a lot too instead of going to other bin stores because they might they might be on a smaller scale and if we're 20th and they're on a smaller scale then it kind of defeats the purpose of you know getting there late so but now the last item is a dehumidifier dh tech cso2 um soul comps on this was like 100 percent sell through rate so that, that's really really cool you don't have to open it but um but yeah dehumidifier seven bucks but yeah that's everything we got you guys um i mean you got everything from brand new dvds to the security thing that the wife found Two brand new Fitbits, Windows 10 Pro, and Ebo. I mean, video game stuff. I mean, it's just. I think this is probably the. I'm not gonna say the best haul we've ever had because I don't. I don't think it is. But if we're talking about fifty dollar item, forty dollar item, thirty dollar item, fifty dollar item, you know, hundred dollar item, I think this is very, very consistent, especially with newer stuff. And it's like it all adds up. Yes, very quickly. Four hundred forty-one dollars. You figure both the two. Once the two Fitbits sell, that is literally half our money back. Ridiculous amounts of money all right so with that being said um if you guys do enjoy these videos man please 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 hit that subscribe button hit the like button comment uh share the video whatever the case is whatever you guys can do to help us uh grow as a channel grow as a family um i would greatly appreciate that and uh i mean we're definitely moving in the right direction for the year 2022 let me tell you guys that now um but yeah much love we're going to end the video there you guys will see how much we spent how much we are going to potentially make after all said and done um and uh and yeah it's pretty crazy so much love you guys it's your boy the georgia picker and catch you guys next time peace I don't wanna wake up.